hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl stacy and today i just want to show you guys how to do my everyday soft glam makeup look which i can just wear out to do maybe we just shopping go out with girls on a shopping day you know just those days when you just want to look you cute, cute you know like you don't want to do too much but you want to do too much like you just want to you know things like that as you can see i already did my eyebrow off camera okay so if you want to see how to do my do brows maybe you should go on youtube go on google check how to do it because i ain't got time for that i ain't got time to teach you guys how to do brows 2021 you have to know how to do your brows if you cannot do brows my sister you are still in 1991 okay when i was born okay let's move straight into the video oh you thought i would go without giving you brows guys a brow tutorial don't worry guys i got you i'll give you the tutorial okay let me just show you guys real quick how to do the brows let's do so like i said i'll be using my eyebrow cool coma to comb my brows up and then usually i use i always use my tweezer to tweeze it but for today's video i'm just going to shave up So because I'm too oily, said I'm going to use some powder. It's going to help my um my brow last longer. So I just fill in my brows. I'm not doing any drawing things. I'm just going to fill in according to the shape which I like. So I'll let it dry for a while what do you think about my brows okay so i'm just going to do some things like so i'm going to use this la girl pro concealer in the shade creamy birch okay this is not even the light shade though but we'll manage it don't forget i am in china so if there are some things that doesn't go well in my in your eyes remember remember i is in china After the lashes, I'll, I'm going to tell you guys why I don't touch anymore. So guys, this is how I do my brows, literally like this. But today, I think the devil was on my side. But then, we conquer. If it's not good, we move. I know this one is bigger than this one, but we move, okay? So let's go into the next step i always um prime my face so this is the primer which i use i use this primer it's called milk hydro grip primer base i think it's nice it's a little bit greasy and um hydrating at the same time it's just like for a neutral i'm not a vegan artist <laughs> like if you if you don't have complicated skin this is bet good or if you you are almost complete you are complicated skin tone or maybe like mine you know if your skin is not that perfect like mine i have some hyperpigmentation not like I, all my acne scars are still there but your body the skin is still popping like the glow is still there you know what i'm saying so i'm going to use this to prime my face okay just put a little bit here before the primer you need to make sure you moisturize your face after uh, i just did my i took my shower earlier this morning and i did moisturize my face and i did my skincare okay before you do that do your skincare routine okay just put a little bit of pump here and here put it where you have maybe all the potion whatever whatever the name i don't know why i look beautiful physically than on camera guys i don't know why this camera i use like i don't know how to set my phone the right way is there a way i can set this thing so that i can see what my eyes is seeing because on here i look like a baboon here mm, the guy is fine yeah you for talk i've seen smile so after the primer you have to prime even your face your 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 eyes so make sure you prime everything and then um i won't be doing any eyeshadow makeup thing like we don't have any time for that okay because 
like i said i just want to do a soft glam every day blah 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 the same concealer you use to finish your brows is the same one you'll be using on your eyelids as a as a what how do they call it mm, the base okay you put it here it's like you have to shake this thing very low you have to really take your time to shake it okay you put a little bit normally if you all normally people do this when they want to when they want to do eyeshadow but today i'm not i'm not doing any eyeshadow so i will just put here then use this to kind of spread it on it on my lids I'm just going to use this to dab 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 so when we are done we use some powder this kind of powder i just try to set everything because i also i also have oil on my eyelids so you have to avoid that i wasn't even supposed to do all of this this is when you this is just to prime your face when you want to do like eyeshadow base eyeshadow creativity but today i told you we are just going out to we are just doing a makeup look for like a step out and pick something from the crazy house kind of makeup not something blah blah extraordinary so i picked this eyeshadow base eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette from miniso it's not really miniso this place is is it is it miniso one of these 10 kwai shops i think this one i got it for like um, 10 kwai or something eyeshadow palette actually it's called qq qq eyeshadow c u i c e c u q q eyes <laughs> i don't know this is how it is i got it from one of these dollar 10 10 quite shops so i'm just going to use this my fluffy brush take why am i using it i'll take this this color here, right here and put it on top of my crease okay you just have to make sure you put it make sure when you are putting you put your head like this put your eye like this so that you open it you, you open your eye, your eye bleed so that people should see what you are doing don't be making like it will be crazy nobody will see it first of all i have a hooded eyes so if i don't do like this all those rubber part of my eyes will be showing so i have to then i look down now so as i'm looking down i carry the the, the thing just dab don't do it like this so you dab so that the, the the color should stick you go and do something that you cannot and you all will lose it this is how you do it there's time for everything especially for makeup first there's time to dab 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 and they also there's also time to to, to to blend so now is the time to dab if you like you go and blend when it's time to dab that's your problem because by then don't come i don't say that it's my video that said that you should you, you should dab when it's time to blend so now it's time to what is this time time to dab or blend this okay this time it's time to dab hey i'm scared that we'll go and be making extraordinary makeup oh. yeah i told you guys this thing oh, that i'm seeing and this thing i'm seeing on the screen 10 different color my the physical me is finer than this physical me in, the, in that in that camera and i did not do anything on the camera oh. the camera is just like that but anyway let us manage it as it is okay so you don't you have used if you are here to correct my English, you are dead. My English has nothing to do with you. No, has anything to do with your makeup that you are trying to learn from me right now. So, therefore, you close your mouth. So, you see, I'm still here dapping though. The reason why I'm dapping is because I need the plentiness of it. Plus, my eyes are so fat. I need to put so many. So, now just try to blend a little bit after you know, after you are done dapping put a little you blend it you see you see what i'm doing you dab 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 then you blend no stress i like i said open your eyes like this then you look down so that you can see what you are doing make sure your, 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 your mirror is down so that you can see what you are doing from above from below make sure you do the right thing because if you are seeing any mistake here yeah. everyone in this video is dead why? I don't know why I'm fine physically than the, the thing that I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm still going to use this brush. Look at the brush. Let me put it down here so that you see. See how, it's been, it's been, see how the brush is, right? You see, you are seeing. Hope you are seeing. It, I did not say that you go and take this kind of brush. Oh, this is not what they use here. 
I did not say that if you go and take this other kind of, of brush, oh, this is not it. Look at what I'm using. This one, it can enter your eyes and remove it. So you have to make sure you, you blend. Blend everything the right way. Then now, I'm going to use just one palette. Eh? Look, if these people knew that I would use just their one palette, they would sponsor me. Okay, let me just assume they sponsor me. This video is sponsored by QQ eyeshadow base company people so now we are going to use this dark shade here this one this orange shade the dark one i'm putting in the middle of the crease so that the thing should show that my eyes are not fat again like this wrap wrap will not be showing so let us continue from where we stop using the same thing first of all you dab or you put it where it's supposed to be make sure you put it where you are supposed it's supposed to be so that you will not be struggling to try to figure out open your eyes like this mm -hmm. and then you put it there put it everything is to put put it where it is supposed to be just look at me look at what i'm doing i did not say that you should follow something else follow me follow me follow me oh, no. stand up follow me follow me sit down sit down Follow me, follow me, turn around. Talking about follow me, follow me. Reasons why I stopped teaching is because, okay, you guys, I don't know if you guys knew that I was a teacher in China, here in China, before I started making uh, wigs and actually becoming a stylist. I was a an English teacher here in China. So I was a Laoshu. Laoshu means teacher. I know maybe some of you want me to teach you how to say teacher in Chinese. Actually, it's not like I hated doing the job. I really love kids because even back home, I used to be a teacher back home. If I have some of the pictures here, I'm going to insert it on the screen. Back home, I used to be a nursery school teacher. So it wasn't like I was doing something different from what I was doing. It's not like that's why I went to school. It was just a job I got because after school I, I i couldn't get a job so i had to go look for a teaching job i taught for a year before coming to china so i was teaching this little kid in nursery school that's the pre-nursery just like the kindergarten schools this the kids in kindergartens here in china so i was teaching those in the pre-nursery so right now i'm going to use this the darkest shade on this not the black one though this one this one I'm going to, I'm going to still put it on this on the on my crease so that it becomes darker a little bit. So uh, I was enjoying this. I actually taught for like four years before quitting. So I've been in China for like how long have I been in China again? In on the first of June, I'll be six years in China. First of June. It means I've been teaching for over five years. I, I've been teaching for over four years here yeah, because it's been a year a year and a half since i stopped teaching so I, one of the reasons why i i was teaching in china is because that was the only job that's the only job most people have that that's the most popular job here for foreigners so i had no choice but but to join the crew although it wasn't like the thing 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 thinking thinking thing thinking 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 that i really wanted to do I thought here in China you can have varieties of jobs and all of that or maybe I could do something that has something to do with my educational background or something which I have passion for you know um yeah I was doing it and then at a certain point I got tired because you know when you're doing something which is not what is not your calling like not like my calling I love playing with kids I just love playing with kids but I started realizing that especially the, the, the moment when i started doing my business i realized that i was putting so much focus on my business than the job so i was always going late to school and i was the the once you go late they they they, they they deduct your salaries and all of that and i feel bad when they deduct my salary like but I always think like, girl, you went late, so why don't you want them to deduct your salary? I'm just human. It just has a feeling when you feel like you went to school, you actually did the job, but just because you went late, which wasn't late for classes, but no, but I was late for 
maybe the devotion time or just the time when you most often when you go to school you have to go and greet the kids you have to say good morning good morning to every single kid who is supposed to come into in on that day so you have to tell them good morning good morning all of that so i always find that so boring and if i don't come at eight mm, it was a, a disaster so they have to cut 50 kawaii which is about ten dollars so each time you go late they cut ten dollars how much do you earn how much do you earn sister and i have to go home during break time during lunch time and come back if i late i'm late again fifty dollars and um, ten dollars off Whew. that was so much money for me to be losing so and then the second thing is um i felt like i wasn't doing the job the right way i wasn't actually teaching well like i would i can teach one topic for a month it was just so boring you know when you repeat something it becomes so boring even the kids are so bored and uh, i wasn't that creative because I, I like i said i already started doing my business and i was putting so much interest on my business and i started feeling like what they are paying me for i'm actually not doing the thing which I, i'm paid for so and i'm already stressed and also during those period i used to have so much stress heartbreaks here and there and had a boyfriend who was so abusive and you know when you're doing a business and working for somebody you always need to be fine you always need to be happy to serve people so oh my god i wasn't really happy each time they talk to me i just feel like tearing up because maybe i had a very bad conversation with this person or what i was expecting from this person the person didn't do it and i was like oh it's not worth it like i just want to sleep please no one to tell me no one should tell me what to do so i, I already started feeling like oh i don't want to work because i don't really want people to tell me what to do and blah 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 so that was another reason and then the third reason was because the third reason was because my mom passed away and i was like what's the essence of working so hard doing youtube um working on, on working in the kindergarten five to eight five eight to five in the kindergarten every day then come back again at night start doing people's weeks and all of that then i was just doing weeks i wasn't actually attending to clients physically but i was aspiring to actually try to do something like try to get to client because i always like to try to i always have ideas which i see on youtube and i want to i want to actually implement them physically like i'm good at doing things with my hands than actually just seeing and there's nothing i can do about it so i'm just going to use the fluffy brush i, I was actually looking for a, a bed a, a new one okay i'm going to use this one to kind of blend it so that i don't see you don't see these harsh lines so it's a clean brush which i'm using like I said, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. I don't know if you guys already know. I've, I think I've mentioned in other videos that I lost my mom. I lost my mom two years ago. This May, we make exactly two years. May 22nd, May 21st, sorry. We make exactly two years since I lost my mom. If you want, I will make a little video about that. It was a sudden death so i i was just so confused so when my mom died we had so much pro so many projects we were doing back home and i was working that hard like working back to back working from home doing youtube um teaching making weeks for people like that just to get to to make sure i the, the projects i had i could finish it on time you know things like that but unfortunately my mama passed away suddenly so i decided to stop to to, to come down to like girl nobody's going to kill you if you don't do anything like slow down with my hustling spirit if you guys used to follow me then you know that i would sleep at night that's where all this things came from like from the stress from working up and down and all of that my face started breaking out and all that all those stress i was just all over this place just to make sure everyone for my family is fine yeah so i could do that shout out to my family shout out to my little brother shout out to my 
son my dad my little sister shout out to all of you i love you all so don't see all of this and think i'm suffering no it's okay it's okay okay <laughs> so yeah like i said that was the reason why i stopped um teaching okay so now i'm done with this um eyeshadow you see i use just one i'm just going to use this eye pencil to draw my eye i don't want to put any eyeliner i'm going to use this mascara here to comb my upper lash the face is coming to place so um chris miller one of my friends on wechat chris miller actually sent me her eyelash glue she said um it's magnetic and all of that i don't know she said and she, she sent me one of these make lashes so i'm going to she got this from from taobao to show me that one doesn't work one works i'm sure this one is hers which she's still trying to customize which i am going to try i don't even want to waste my time to try something which will, which will not work she said the ones on Taobao doesn't work <clears throat> so these are the lashes which she sent me i'm going to measure it according to my eye size and uh, let me get the scissors and try to cut this because it's i think it's too long it's longer than my eyes so i'll just put it on my eyelids first so i have to draw it like i don't even know the instruction though so should i quickly do it or i should wait for a moment so far so good oh i think it's going well let me do this other side and see <laughs> i'm so good oh look just one put in it just glued hey this is magic i don't understand why they call this thing magnetic i i i something it doesn't it's not magnet it's just glue it feels like feels like this one it's just a glue but anyway <clears throat> it's strong enough you know you cannot at least it's strong enough you guys think so i think i'll just draw a line on top of the glue we move so you guys you have to try chris miller's eye lash glue it's a magnetic glue i think it's amazing because look i don't even feel like i need to fix something it's so hard quick i actually place my 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 lashes so you guys can try that and let me know tell her i sent you okay so we are done with the lashes now i'm going to continue with my makeup so before now i had already primed my face most often i always put my i always put i always do everything underneath before continuing the makeup so i'll first of all clean my face when i was doing my eyeshadow And then I will use this uh, concealer underneath my eye. Ooh, what happened? So I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty 3 what uh, mixed wax matching stick, match kit stick. <laughs> in the shade espresso to contour my face remember this is underneath my foundation so don't worry about me putting so much product on my face. this lipstick i'll put it on my cheek just to i think this one is too red but anyways I will fix that. I'm going to use two 
foundation on my face first i'm going to use this um l'oreal paris true matte in the shade coco c8 and and i will use my fenty beauty where is it fenty beauty 360 i think this is too light but i will just mix it with it a little bit again under my eyes i'm going to take this light up one and put it under my eyes as well now i'm going to use my powder now i mean i don't need to bake because baking always gives me some weird stuff i'm going to use this um contour palette from Juvia's Cosmetic, my god, you guys, I don't know the name, so bear with me. So, I'm just going to contour my nose first. So, I'll go ahead now and use my pressed powder to kind of clean the whole show that's still going on. So, I'll use this. It's for MAC Cosmetic NC45. No, I'm going to use this from Elf, Elf Cosmetic. And then I'm going to use this facial mix. I got this from Sephora, I think. Yes, I got it from Sephora. Excuse me. So while it's drying, I'll just go ahead and do my lower lash line. I'll do the same thing I did on the upper lash line under my eye. So I'll just for the highlight, I'm going to put some on my brows to make the brow pop up. For my lips, I'm just going to do a nude kind of situation. I'm going to use this um, lip gloss. I'll just undo my hair now. Show you guys the end result. I don't know if I'm feeling this week or not, but yeah, for my makeup after the week, I think I'm not feeling it. I'll have to take it off. Let us see the last one. My only hope. Alright guys, I ended up changing my wig because I wasn't feeling it. I think because of the background and everything, it wasn't just going with it. So I think um, this is actually glueless. I didn't have to do so much and I had already curled it. So guys, if you enjoy videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you want me to, to try other people's brand on WeChat, you also tag them to send me their product, okay? So I will be waiting for you guys to recommend people to send me stuff so that I can try for you guys, okay? And yeah, as you can see, the glue is so nice. And I haven't even had anything like tearing up. Like, I used to make do my makeup and I feel like tearing up. I think it's because of the glue and all of that. But this thing, I'm sure, I'm sure it's actually magnetic. And you can get it from Chris Miller. Chris Miller on WeChat. I'm going to link her WeChat in the description box. And also, I'm going to put her WeChat ID on my on the post which I'm going to post on WeChat. So, okay. Let me know. Great my makeup. What do you guys think about this makeup? So, this is an everyday soft glam popping kind of situation. And yeah, you can always get the lash from me. And if you want to do your makeup, if you want to book your appointment for wig installation or you want to order wigs from me, you can also place your order, okay? So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!